I've got Marsha <laughs> Cox and Marcel Manson. Those surnames sound pretty fresh, ladies. Um, <laughs> two members of the SA hockey team, I think, brimming after a fantastic weekend. Brilliant results there. But the important stuff, still shining from two recent weddings. Congratulations, girls. Thank oh. you. Thanks. Please, we had our hands. Oh, okay, look at that. <laughs> we didn't plan that at all. No, uh, no. The guys, welcome. Before we get into your wonderful personal lives at the moment, your wonderful professional lives came to, to the spotlight this weekend. Before we talk about yesterday's game, Australia, well done. It sounds like you were absolutely inspirational in that game. And I'm going to say it, 317 tests. Yeah. Are you kidding me? What did that feel like? Well, actually, I'm, I don't really keep count. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like a really important game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's just the pride of putting your SA jersey on. And, you know, of course, you always want to beat the Aussies. So. What did it take to beat the Aussies? A lot of uh, effort from the team. And I think there's always something in South Africans, I think, when there's certain opponents that as you prepare for those games, they, that you get that little extra spring Cricketers, in your step. are you listening? <laughs> Cricketers, <laughs> please. Yeah. You get that little extra spring in your step, and I think that sometimes that's all the motivation you need. Well, no rest for the wicket, of course. You were then up against Belgium yesterday, and that yes. went even better. What was that experience like, the entire team, just about getting into the score sheets? That was absolutely fantastic. Just like Marshy said, there was a little bit of a... A, a grudge game against the Belgium team. <laughs> so they came back and they were boasting that they were really fit and ready to go, and we just came out firing. Six oh. goals. Well, someone is inspired at the moment. You yeah. were married two weeks two ago. Weeks. That's so fresh. <laughs> what was the wedding like, first of all? Oh, it was amazing. It was so awesome. Marcia was the there. legs are bouncing at the I know, table. it was divine. <laughs> it was like my dream come true. It was a perfect oh, day. Oh, look at you guys. <laughs> Yes. Beautiful, and there's Cheeky Bevan. little smile. Hey, Bevan knows he's got a catch, right? <laughs> or vice versa. Yes. Um, now, tell us a little bit about your wedding. What what was that like, the experience? Mm. My wedding was last year, but mm. it was also just... All I wanted was to feel like a princess on the day, and that's exactly how I felt. And she looked like a princess. <laughs> oh, look at yeah. that. There with Alexander. Yeah. Hey, dreamy <laughs> eyes. Absolutely beautiful. Well... Because you guys spend so much time in camp, especially at the moment, focusing on what you have to do, I know that your private time with the lads, the TLC, is very short-lived. So as a very little, a very special added bonus to coming onto the show, we thought we'd see how the other half are doing at the moment. We've got joining us on the line the husbands, so we have to congratulate them as well. Bevan and Alexander on the line. Bevan, how are you doing this morning, son? Uh, Graham, good, thanks for you, thank you. Very good. It sounds early, my friend. It sounds very early. Um, Bevan, are you proud of Marcel? Obviously, after a fantastic weekend, what is it like being married to a South African hockey star? Yeah, sure. I mean, <laughs> being proud is a, would be an understatement, I guess. Um, to, to, watch, to watch the girls represent the country and, uh, you know, around the world at all their tournaments, et cetera, et cetera, is... Um, very, very proud, and you know to see to see the new surname on the back. Oh, <laughs> that oh that's very <laughs> sweet. I've been blinded by the wedding ring as well. Um, what is it like from your perspective, seeing what a hockey player has to do to achieve the kind of results to maintain a professional career representing your country? How hard is it for Marcel? Uh, look, these, these girls they, they work really hard. You know they. They, I think they're ranked 11th in the world, which means they're competing against professional teams. And sort of we're sitting at semi-professional status, probably amateur status. So yeah. these, these girls are studying, working, you know, getting married, having lives, <laughs> <laughs> and, and managing to compete against the best in the world. So it's, it's, you know, it does take a lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifices. Oh, and the wind beneath their wings. <laughs> Bevan, thank you so much, my man. Also on the line, we've got Alexander Cox. Alexander, obviously not quite as fresh for you, but the <laughs> wedding last year, you've got a very proud wife here. Now, she is the captain of our national team. What is that like? You must be incredibly proud to have this kind of partner in life. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, I am. I am very <laughs> proud of her, especially uh, uh, South African hockey captain. Yeah. That's why I married her. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask, is she this bubbly and nice all the time? Does she have a darker half ever? We only ever see the Ooh. champion side of the personality. You're not allowed to answer this. Yeah. 
Dark or light? Uh, dark, uh, what? What's the question? <laughs> uh, perfect. That was the perfect yeah. husband's <laughs> answer. There is no dark or half. So what is it like managing this kind of lifestyle? We know that you guys are so busy and that our hockey team at the moment have a lot of pressures on them. How do you guys find the time? How do you make sure that Marsha knows that she is appreciated and a special woman in your life? Uh, well, especially when we're together. Like the, the last times that we're not together, like now, because she's... Uh, She's in South Africa and I'm in Holland. And we, you know, we're not together for two weeks now, uh, but we keep in contact every day, like uh, from the morning till the evening. And um, uh. when we are together, it's, uh, it's special. When we're not together, we are... Uh, yeah, it's also special because we're in contact the whole day. So uh, we, we cope with it. We go, oh, he sounds yeah. traumatized. Alexander, thank you so much we for joining us all the way from Holland. Bit of a roll with this. Yeah. There. That was very, very sweet. Ladies, when next can we see you in action? On Tuesday night, so tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. We're playing against Belgium again. Yes. And if you come to Hartleyville um, earlier at 6 o'clock, we, there's a Western Province men's team playing against Amsterdam. So there's a nice little curtain raiser. Yes. Oh, men beautiful. warming up the crowd yeah. for us course. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking forward to that. Yeah. All right, ladies, let's do our wa a wave, official wave goodbye. Yeah. Thank you so much. Awesome to have the girls joining us. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. I think we might be able to rope Ilana into a bit of a yes. showcase game of hockey. I don't know. What do you think, hun?